I am often asked why I didn't follow my late father into Mongolian sumo, and my answer is, because he advised me against it. He didn't want me coming up against highly trained opponents from the off and getting beaten to the point of injury or being too scared to fight in future. So, I turned my attentions to basketball, which was popular among kids nationwide. I also did karate and taekwondo. I was also interested in wrestling and judo, and took up the latter aged 12, at first without my parents' knowledge. Although failing to get selected for a judo scholarship in Yamanashi, Japan, I did win the national trials for the 1998 World Youth Games held in Moscow, and proudly represented my country there. It was through judo that I got to join sumo, actually. My father thought he was sending me to a judo meet, but it was actually a selection event for Japanese sumo, which required us to fight one bout of Mongolian sumo. Attending was then coach Ajigawa, my future stable master Isegahama. The tournament had been specially arranged to aid his scouting mission, and I was one of the boys called over to him afterwards. The coach shook my hand, made me do some splits with the other lads, felt our knees, examined our legs, and resolved to take on three of us. He told my father, in addition to Japanese sumo being tougher than you think, he's going to have to learn Japanese and adjust to the food culture. Now, what are you going to do if he gives you a sobbing phone call asking to come home? My father's response pleased him. Coach, he replied, Mongolian sumo is also tough. Failure over there means he's also going to fail here. But my boy is not the type to give up, and you have my word on that. Thus, a delighted Ajigawa took me on, and I spent the three months before departure going to Japanese class in Ulaanbaatar, and watching professional sumo on TV to pick up what I could. At the time, Kyoku Shuzan and Kyoku Tenho were breaking out in Division 1 and causing quite a stir back home. But apart from them, I knew none of the faces and honestly had but a shallow interest in the sport. I do remember thinking, ejecting a guy from a narrow circle looks easy. And... I remember dreaming of living in this postmodern fantasy land, with the latest cars, computer games, gadgets, robots, and food at the push of a button. For all I knew back then, Japan had flying saucers too.